Hello all, welcome to SourceCat tutorial and in this tutorial I will tell you one of the tools which are which uh, one is not so frequently used but yes it is one of the important tools in AutoCAD. Dividing a line, circle or any other AutoCAD object into equal number of parts or in equal lengths. For that I will create a few objects like uh, a line an arc and yes one spline also now to divide these objects into equal number of parts I'll go to this option here that is divide click on divide select object in this case I'm selecting this line and enter number of segments here in number of segments I'm entering 6 and enter now this is spline has been divided into six equal parts although you won't be able to see the change because at, at, at each interval a point has been inserted that overlaps this spline so the changes are not visible to make it visible go to utility utilities point style and let's select any other point style okay this one seems good select this and okay now you can see all those points and this has been divided into six equal number of parts you can do so with this arc and line as well let's do the same with this line select this line the number of objects six and enter and here we have this line divided into six equal parts now what if you want to divide these objects at certain intervals for that we'll select the second option here that is measure so select measure now select the object and enter the distance at which you want to make divisions so I'm entering a distance of three units in this case and press enter now you can clearly see that at the distance of every three, three units this line has been divided but not the last segment the last segment will be of whatever the length is remaining out of that line after division so the last segment will not be of the length that you are specifying so please take care of that note it let's do this division once again click on measure select your object in this case it's a line and specify the distance I am specifying 2.4 as the distance and enter this line has been divided at equal spacing of 2.4 and the last segment is not of length 2.4 it's of whatever the remaining length is you can do so with spline as well so now what if you want to insert a block instead of these points so for that I have made a block and those of you who don't know about the block I'll suggest you refer to my videos and which block has been discussed quite thoroughly so go through it and you'll know what a block is so for now if you want to insert a block let's do it I'll select this divide again select this spline and in this case I'll select this block click on this block now insert uh, enter the name of block so since I have already made a block with name A I'll insert the name of block as A and press enter now align block with object you can say yes in this and enter number of segments so I'll enter 6 as number of segments and press enter so at the distance of 6 sorry at every equal distance a block has been inserted instead of a point so let's select measure this time let's go to measure select object and I'll select block enter name of block A and enter align block let's say no because we have selected yes previously so let's go ahead with no and specify length of segment now I'll specify length of segment as uh, 1.5 units and press enter now at every 1.5 unit a block has been inserted as you have specified it so this is how you are going to do this thing and if you have any doubt you need any clarifications you can just always comment 
uh, always ask me in comment and i'll be glad to help you i hope you like my videos keep watching and keep learning thank you guys have a nice day